Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a very different video than what I normally post and I wanted to do something that was like a little bit more intimate, a little bit more face to face and basically talk about all of the beauty things and maintenances and small little tweaks that I feel like make such a big difference in presenting yourself as the best version of yourself and things that I felt really helped me to glow up and feel really beautiful. Some of these are really easy, some of them are more complex, but these are some of the things that I've done and I swear by that have really just helped me to make my look more cohesive. I also wanted this to be more casual because I feel like some of the videos that I do, they're very motivational. I want to encourage and empower you. And I also want you guys to know that I'm a real person. I have a personality and uh, duh, we know that. Let's talk about all the things that I've done that just helped me look really put together and have helped me to be my best self. I'm still evolving. I still have things that I want to improve. There are things that I can tweak. There are things that I can change, but these things, mwah, I swear by, and hopefully this will help you as well. The first thing that helped the, change the biggest difference in my appearance and just made everything look a little bit more cohesive was healing my acne. I struggled with acne for so many years and because of this, I was always having to wear really heavy foundations to leave the house and I was having to cake on a lot of makeup and I was always looking at girls like wondering, why does my skin not look like yours? Why am I always getting flashback on the camera and my skin's never the same color, my neck, my chest. It was just because I was having to wear a lot of makeup and obviously I wasn't color matching correctly. But the biggest thing was healing my acne and the way that I personally healed my acne, I had done so much, but ultimately it was dial soap, tea tree oil, and vitamin E oil. I made a TikTok on this like two years ago and it went viral, but dial soap, the gold bar, so literally the gold bar, I would take it, you know, soap it up in my hand and I would put a little bit of vitamin E and then I'd put a couple drops of tea tree oil and I use that for like five months and my acne just went away and so did a lot of like the acne scarring and then that is when I started to go to work on different things which I will talk about but that's what helped me because even before I was doing I was going to the dermatologist a lot I was getting prescriptions the prescriptions not were not working at all and the whole time it was topical some people say it might have been fungal I don't think it was fungal acne at all because I would get like I think it was really hormonal, but for whatever reason, the dial soap helped it a bunch. So the first thing that you want to focus on is getting to the root cause of whatever your problem is. And so if you have acne, just think figuring out changing your diet, trying different things, try the dial soap. It's not healthy long term, but maybe it'll work for you. The next thing that has really changed my look and has just made me feel put together is getting my eyebrows done by the right person. I will go back to some of my old videos and I will look at them and my eyebrows are either too thick, too thin, too shaped, too grown out and it changes my look completely like right now I just got my eyebrows done so I'm feeling on top of the world like you can't tell me anything they're not drawn in they're not colored in I've done absolutely nothing I just woke up put on makeup but getting your eyebrows done and always maintaining your eyebrows it just changes the face it lifts the eye it makes the face look a little bit better more sharp and it makes you look more put together even if you're not wearing makeup which actually leads me to the next thing that I always like to do when I leave the house and that is wear a tinted SPF if you do not want to put on makeup, you do not want to leave the house, finding a really good tinted SPF to just put on your face if you want to wear absolutely nothing is going to just help the skin look. It's going to help your skin just look clearer. It's going to help your skin look a little bit more even and it's going to make you look a little bit more put together without even doing a whole lot. There are times where I look at people and I'm like, she's wearing no makeup and she still looks amazing. 90% of the time they're wearing a tinted SPF unless you are just blessed with magical skin. I'm talking from the perspective, I have dermographia, which basically means if you touch me or if my skin is irritated by anything, it changes colors, which is why I really just don't wear makeup out in public because if you touch me, I will literally get red. My shoulders, my necks, my face, I've always been like that. And because of it, I think it also gave me a little bit of rosacea. And so my skin is always blotchy and red at certain points. So I always just love wearing an SPF and that is it a majority of the times when I'm not wearing makeup. Some really great tinted SPFs is Goop. Super Goop has a really great tinted SPF. I will say for my browner girls, it might leave a slight white cast on you. So if you are any darker than my color, you might actually have to get another one, which It Cosmetics has a really nice CC tinted moisturizer, which you can get into deeper colors. I do suggest that because it is frustrating when you want to wear a tinted moisturizer or a tinted SPF and it's very general to a lot of people and it doesn't work for a lot of the darker women so if you are a little bit deeper than my color I suggest finding one that has a little bit more color added to it but the super group one works really well for me and then there's one from one skin and they have a tinted SPF it's really beautiful it is not matte so if you're a little bit more oily like myself you just have to be careful when you wear it those two are amazing and I swear by them the next thing to really pay attention to when you're elevating your look is the 
the color of lipstick that you find it's going to just change your look so right now i have found like the perfect variation of color for me that it looks very natural but also like adds just like a little pop of color where it could look like my lip color just enhanced and i think lip color just changes a look like if you are wanting to go for that every day throw on your spf have your eyebrows done and you want to choose a lip color finding one really specific to you like this is my go-to this is my bread and butter and i feel like it just looks super natural but it looks like i have something but it could also be my lip color with maybe a gloss what i'm wearing right now this is the sephora rosewood liner i swear by it it's always sold out now frustrated and then i have like a say cosmetics they have a really beautiful array of lip glosses i have their clear one it's like a pinkish clear and then a colored one and i don't know the shade but i will leave it in the description if you're curious or feel free to message me on instagram and i will send you a link but finding the right color lipstick changes a look the next thing that has really upgraded my skin routine is dermaplaning. So I have a very hairy face. I'm a very hairy human just in general. I was always wondering why my makeup was never sitting right. I was always feeling like my skin just never looked right. It always kind of looked textured. And one, dermaplaning is really great for exfoliating, but it's also really great at getting the little hairs off of your face. So that way when you put things on, it is just laying flat, it's laying smooth, and it just changes the look. It just makes everything sit better. So I suggest dermaplaning playing if you haven't tried it you have to be careful if you have acne so right now if you're struggling with acne just be careful because you obviously don't want to be exfoliating over open acne active acne anything like that but if you're just trying to tweak something slightly in your routine you can get some dermaplaning blades off of amazon i used to get the scalpels i can't really find scalpels anymore i felt like they worked better for me i do it maybe like twice a month if that it's not something that you're like oh i just that's another thing that i have to worry about it's really not that much and i feel like every time it's so satisfying because it gets so much dead skin off so just be careful if you are nervous about dermaplaning talk to your esthetician your dermatologist and ask them what they think about it but for me it's really worked and i really like the way that it just makes my skin look and my makeup sit one of the biggest things is going and getting laser treatments done i do not believe anyone who is just like i have perfect skin solely from skincare products i'm sure if you're born with perfect skin and you use skincare products great but skincare products are great for maintaining like there are products that help me maintain great skin but the biggest change in my skin came when I started getting laser treatments and really great facials so if you've never done a laser treatment or you've never done a facial I just feel like there's so much more potential to change and upgrade your skin because not only do facials really get into the skin and clean it really well better a lot of times than we can clean it ourselves but obviously the laser treatments have benefits and it's gonna do things to your skin that's just gonna make it transform and change some of the laser treatments i've done i have done micro needling twice i feel like the downtime for me personally for micro needling is too much but some people who have deeper acne scars that is a great treatment to get i have done a clear and brilliant laser a clear and brilliant laser is really good like if you have something the next day or that week and you just want to basically look refreshed you want your skin to look really plump and smooth i leave my doctor's office with a very red face again i'm very sensitive like it looks like i have a wicked sunburn but by the time that i'm going to sleep and i'm waking up my skin looks beautiful like stunning i also have a video on my youtube channel of my clear and brilliant experience so feel free to look at that if you want i've gotten that done like four or five times so amazing my skin looks beautiful after again it's something that you kind of have to maintain because it's not super deep but that is an amazing laser one of my favorite lasers though that i've only ever done once and i noticed the hugest difference was the moxie laser and moxie laser is really good for anti-aging it's really good for acne scarring it is really good for hyperpigmentation fine lines and wrinkles it's a little bit more of a downtime because your skin changes in texture and sometimes like you have little marks for when the laser actually is but this laser i swear it like gave me a facelift like i felt so beautiful after i felt like my skin was glowing i felt like i don't i just looked at myself and i was like wow it was such a big difference from what i felt before going in so if you're someone who is considering getting a laser and you want something maybe that's going to be really powerful and effective just off the bat the moxie laser was really great in my experience i've never done a chemical peel but i've also again downtime's not my thing because i'm always taking content i'm always taking videos i want to be with people so a chemical peel is something that's a little more aggressive but i've heard people have really great results with any of these treatments you have to find an amazing place to go to you cannot just find someone i'd be weary of people who give discounts like influencer codes are great because that's a way to track like who sent you but as far as like discounts or anything like if they're running promotions you kind of have to be careful because that means they need business the person that i go to is at skin spirit i go in dallas and i also go here 
in Los Angeles. So if you're in Los Angeles right now or in Dallas, either one, just message me and I can give you a code to use. And then also I trust the people at Skin Spirit. I go to Skin Spirit, especially for my brown girls. If you go to Skin Spirit, ask for Anna Gunn. She's amazing. And um, she's experienced with working with women of color as well as white women, as well as a lot of ethnicities because we all have different skin types. Just a heads up, pick a really great place to go vet yourself, vet people who have gone there, ask a lot of questions, and then make the decision based on that. And then so while we're on talking about products and treatments and things like that, really great products. You obviously want to invest in great products because this is how you're going to maintain skin. And there are just so many great products on the market. But what I've been doing more recently is I've been focusing on products that are more natural. Like I really love beef tallow. I'm acne prone. I've struggled with acne obviously, but I use beef tallow at night because I'm too oily to use it during the day right now, but I feel like it is helping my skin. It's moisturizing my skin. I have had no irritation, no breakouts from it, and I know it's all natural. I've been really focusing on using cleaner products where I can, but there's an array of products that I love. I love Skin Better products. I feel like they're very effective. They're medical grade skincare. I use their Alta Defense, which is kind of like a vitamin C antioxidant. So amazing. I just feel like with skincare, it's really just up to the person, but if you guys again need suggestions, I will link everything in my link tree and my like to know it just in case you guys have any questions but it's just so personalized and if you guys want a video on what I actually use I can show you my products but I think that when it comes to skincare there's just be careful how you're influenced by the trends like everything is trending for a reason because it's cool and it's nice and it looks pretty on a counter but like you actually have to look at the ingredients you actually have to think about how many different ingredients am I mixing within my skincare? Do I have one brand that I really like? Is there one brand that I feel like is really ethical? I love brands, I love skincare, I love shopping, I love new things, so I fall victim to a lot of this. But when it comes to your skin and you're trying to glow up, you wanna find something that works for you consistently. You do not wanna be switching products all the time. As an influencer, I'm sent a lot of stuff, but I very slowly will incorporate things before I give them to the public and say, hey, try this. Like before I show you guys what I'm actually using, I make sure to incorporate it enough where I'm just like, okay, is this actually effective? Does this work for me? And is this gonna break me out or irritate my skin if I put it in with the other products that I'm using? Always finding like your core products that you really love sticking to those and if you want to try something else like slowly phasing something in that is just going to help you reduce risk of irritation acne and just falling victim to spending money that you don't need to spend one last thing that i do that i feel like just really elevates my look this isn't skincare based but it's wear earrings like throw on a pair of earrings right now i'm literally wearing a tube top my hair is in a bun i just washed my hair and i'm about to get my hair done tomorrow so i don't feel like i'm Put together in the way i would like to but throw on a good pair of earrings like a nice chunky gold silver something and you can run around and look like you put effort into your look like it doesn't take a lot but these little micro things like if you're looking to just embrace your femininity enhance your look look more put together without having to put a ton of effort because again who wants to put in a ton of effort to always look good it can get tiring these just little tiny things just become habit and they just enhance your look. I hope you guys like this more casual video. Honestly, I wanna do things more vlog style, but I just, it's hard to carry around a camera. So if you guys wanna see more vlog style, let me know and I can you know, take you around my house and show you different things. But let me know if you guys like these tips and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.